Now, I have another classic example of a certain lady, and this is a, a true, true story. There was a man, he used to fuel the vehicle, the car of this, his wife. Imagine fueling the, the exact amount of fuel that this lady supports. Hello family, welcome back to my channel. This is Salome Maina TV and I'm coming to you live from the villages of Africa. As you can see, I'm right here in the village. You're highly welcome. I'm your host Salome Maina. This is yet another beautiful day. Eh? A very, very beautiful day. I thank God. I believe and I hope you're doing well. Thank you so much for your love, for your support always coming to watch my content i really don't take it for granted thank you very much remember i love you so much and if you have not subscribed please do so even before we continue i also add you that you give this video a thumbs up thumbs up in this channel we also have a very special segment where prince do cooking videos Prince is a very young boy, but he knows how to cook. I'm very, very sure you'll enjoy his cooking skills. And if you're a lover of chapatis, as I always say, please check it out. And so many other dishes that he has prepared. Now, once again, I urge you please subscribe if you have not subscribed. Majority of you watch, but I'm only uh, when I check it out, I see it's a very few, few, few people who have subscribed. Thank you so much. And in this segment is where I endeavor to bring you more about marriages. We have t I share with you tips about how your marriage can work. Today, I'm going to, it's now my humble pleasure to bring to you to today's points on how your marriage can work. Um, one of the points is about generosity. Mm -hmm. Generosity and kindness, I can simply say that these are co-joined twins. They go hand in hand, like this. Now, how does generosity comes in to the marriage? Mm -hmm. So generosity, when I talk about generosity, I'd, I would like to give a very good example of where one of the partners is working and maybe the other one is not working. Mm -hmm. So imagine a case where one partner is working, he or she buys himself maybe shoes, maybe, maybe clothes. You buy your own clothes and you don't mind about the other person. Put yourself in the same shoes. How would you feel? Is it a good feeling? I don't think it is. It is not actually. Therefore, it is good to be generous in your marriage. If you want your marriage to work. This is my take home. Become generous. If you buy maybe something in the house you don't have to come and question how did you spend this and this and this and this and that i don't think it is wise i don't say i don't mean that you should not be concerned about who, how the activities learn in your house but what i mean is that be generous mind about the your the other the other spouse My, mind about him or her 
Because I I believe and I strongly believe if maybe you're not generous, the opposite of being kind is mean. Therefore, this may lead to it may open a door to other other things in the marriage. Maybe unfaithfulness, lack of trust in the marriage, and many, many other things. And since you don't want your marriage to break, because on that day you said, until death do us apart. Therefore, mind about him or her. Show that love in terms of generosity. And I assure you, your marriage will obviously work in a perfect Now, I have another classic example of a certain lady, and this is a, a true, true story. There was a man, he used to fuel the vehicle, the car of this, his wife. Imagine fueling the, the exact amount of fuel that this lady is supposed to cover a certain distance without even giving her extra, extra, extra fuel. So she covers a certain mileage. Do you think this lady was happy when going back home? What if an emergency uh, arises? What will she do? So when we talk about generosity, we have a lot to cover. Even if we go even to, to maybe it's that particular home, maybe the husband brings in even sugar and he wants to find one kg of sugar. And he wants to ensure that and to find out how you use that one kg of sugar. Can you imagine? It's a bit serious, but I'm very sure if we embrace generosity, it's your marriage is going to work. Thank you very much. As we bring this episode to an end, family, I'd like to encourage you to practice generosity. This could be the gem you're missing out in your marriage. Up to that point, don't forget to leave for me your comment. I'll be happy to hear from you. And if you have not subscribed, please do so. I love you very much. Until next time, God bless you. Bye-bye.